Hey everyone, it's Jacob here back in with another video. Um, so for, for today's video, um, I was cracking my fingers in case you just heard a little sound. But anyways, um, before I get into this video, I want to say I have my ring light back. If you remember correctly, like a little while back, I had a ring light that I made quite a few videos with, and the phone holder part broke off of it. I've kind of mentioned that in a couple of videos before, like here and there. But, uh, and I, I thought I wasn't able to get it back on, but then my dad helped me and he got it back on, so... Yeah, I'm not able to make videos with my ring light again, so yeah. But uh, for today's video, I'm going to be showing my whole, like, PS4 video game collection. I'm going to try and go kind of fast here, because I have quite a bit to show. So yeah, let's get started. So the first game I have here is, or it's another fifth grade, it's actually the most recent game I got. I got, got this, like, just a couple days ago from GameStop. Um, you'd think it was $3. As you can see, it says $3 right there, but it's actually 50% off sticker right there, so I got it for 50% off. It's only $15. That's pretty cool. I just in the fifth grade, it's always one of my favorite game shows. It's pretty cool. They made, like, a newer video game out of it. There's a disc. It's not the best video game ever, but it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. But yeah, that's that. And next up is another one of the I wonder if that, that, that's my words there. I was gonna say, next up is another one of the, uh, the like more recent PS4 games I've gotten. It's $15. You can see on the top here, it's Dead by Daylight Special Edition. Um, yeah, Death Landscape, it says. I've only played this like once or twice because I keep, keep forgetting I have it. I like, keep forgetting I got it and stuff like that. Everything inside with the disc. And yeah. Next up is the next one I got for, this one's also $15, um, this is Super Hot VR, Super Hot is a pretty fun game, haven't made it too terribly much of this game, it's pretty cool, and here's the inside of the disc, and there's, a, there's a little insert, it talks about the PlayStation Move Motion Controller controls, and stuff like that, and that mentions PlayStation Plus on the back as well, so yeah, it'd be cool if there's like a PlayStation Plus code that's not, it's just like an advertisement for it. PlayStation Plus, it says, like, reasons to join PlayStation Plus. Anyway. So that's it. The next up, uh, most of these I got from a local video game store named called Homo Gaming, which I've talked about that story several times in past videos. But anyways, next here is the four game I have here, Sega Genesis Classic. It says, over 50 classic games, double side poster inside, and that's true, there is a double side poster inside. Uh, this is basically the PS4 version of um, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, I would say, which is an older, like, Sega Genesis, co Genesis Collection game thing that came out on, like, PS3 and Xbox 360. But anyways, yeah, it's pretty cool. There's the disc, and then this is the double side poster. I don't really feel like taking it out, but it's pitched just a little bit of it. Um, I remember showing this game in a video before, and I might have shown the whole poster in that video, so maybe try and go find that video if you want to see the whole poster. But yeah, I'm just trying to save time here, so I wasn't going to show you that whole poster. Anyways, next up we have a South Park PS4 game here, South Park the Factory Butthole. Um, <laughs> it does say free game includes South Park and Sake of Truth, but if I remember correctly, it was like a, a code to download the game and the code expired, so I wasn't able to actually get it. This one I actually got from a used bookstore near me that actually closed down, doesn't exist anymore, it's only 50 days, so I got for $5. So that's pretty cool. I'm not really the biggest fan of South Park, but yeah, it's a pretty cool show, pretty funny. I'm not the biggest fan of it. My brother is a really big fan of it, but it's like his comfort show basically. He watches it like every night before bed. Um, that's definitely not me. Um, if I had to make a show like watch every night before bed, I would say like probably like Glee or Walking Dead. Uh, anyways, yeah, it's a pretty fun game though. Haven't played it in a little while. I almost said quite a while, but I was like, no, I mean, I'd rather say a little while. Uh, <laughs> anyways. I just think, to be honest, I just think South Park just relies too much on, like, uh, like, dirty jokes and, like, bad words and stuff like that. And it's, like, you don't have to be dirty to be funny, you know? That's why I prefer Family Guy. Like, I think, I honestly think Family Guy is funnier than South Park. It's because they don't rely on, like, dirty stuff. I mean, obviously there's some dirty stuff in Family Guy, but not as much as South Park. Anyways, next game I have for only $5. You can see up there for $4.99. This game's called That's You. It's, like, one of those games where you use your phone as a controller. By the, few, by the way, if you're using the background it's called the please leave the top every hour. I've said that in a, a lot of videos. Anyway, basically every video I say. Anyways, there's the inside of the disc. This is a pretty fun little party game I played with my brother before. And then, yeah. Anyway. Next up, this is a Just Dance game that I got from Star Cup Player's Choice for $7.95. You can see on the sticker there. It's Just Dance 2016. Pretty good one. Um, yeah, there's inside of the disc. 
And then I saw this like a singing game that was going for ten dollars and I'm gonna be sad because the sticker up there as you can see. That's a sticker up there it says. Uh anyways, this is like a singing game, it's called Sing Star Celebration. It's pretty fun. Uh, another game where you use your phone, you have to download like a microphone app on your phone, and then you like sing into your phone basically. Um, yeah, that's that. There's inside of the disc. There's like a few games that were released on this Playlink thing, Playlink for PS4. I think all these games like use your phone as a controller, that's what Playlink means. Anyway, um, like that, see the game I just showed before this one was a Playlink game. And then this next one is a Playlink game as well, it's called Knowledge is Tower. This one is seven ninety nine. you can see. It's like a trivia game. Kind of like another little like, party trivia game. It's pretty fun. Um, there's inside of the disc. There's that. This next game was for eight ninety nine. dollars you can see. That sticker there's, there's a VR game called The Impatient. I found this game randomly at the Planet Gaming store near me. Again, a story I mentioned several times in past videos, and I saw it was a pretty cool game. And I decided to try it, and it wasn't as cool or fun as I thought it would be. Um, it's a pretty cool game, but like, mainly the main reason why I don't, I'm not really a particularly a big fan of it is because the controls are kind of weird. Like, like definitely could have like done the controls a lot better. Anyways, there is the inside of the disc. If you're a voice in the background, though, by the way, that's my mom downstairs. She's watching church downstairs. Anyway. That's it. Next up we have another Just Dance game. This is Just Dance 2018. Um, I think I'm like this one better than 2016. I should have looked at the song lists real quick. Um, hmm. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. There, actually, there might be more songs on 2016 that I like more than 2018, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe I like 26, Just Dance 2016 more than Just Dance 2018. But yeah, anyways, here's Just Dance 2018. There's that. Uh, I think that's it. Yes, I think this one was from GameStop as well, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, I do remember because that was the day I actually went for a job interview at GameStop and I got this game that day from GameStop. I went for the job interview after the interview. I bought this game. I should, my mom bought this game for me if I remember correctly. I was there with my mom. Anyway, I didn't get the job, but yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, next up we have the Harry Potter game, Hogwarts Legacy. Amazing game right here. I haven't played it too much. I want to play it more. I just keep forgetting about it. Anyway, so there's inside the disc, and there's just like a couple inserts with like codes for like download add on things. Um, like Haunted House, me. Hogs Meat Shop, PlayStation Exclusive Quest, and I think it's like some cosmetics, something like that. Um, oh yeah, Onyx, Hippogriff Mountain, Felix, Fleece, Use Potion Recipe, or the other like, bolt download add-on things. Anyway, that's that. Next up, I have a WWE game for PS4, I think, and I can see that by sticker there, WWE 2K16. I like WWE, um, especially like going to WWE, like, live shows that like uh, that like c come every year it's like an annual thing anyway i'm top of that here says so raised some hell <laughs> uh, anyways um here's the inside of the disc and there's a well insert here um you know there's a time little instruction manual and actually i didn't realize this was in here this little like taunt card it says stone cold steve austin Right there, I didn't even realize I was in there. Yeah, anyways, that's that. There we go. And there's the disc. I think I already showed the disc, but I just wanted to show it again just to be sure. Anyway, that's it. And this next game is actually one of my favorite PS4 games. It's called Dreams. I think I found it on Best Buy actually one time. So I found the creators of Little Big Planet. This is a game where you can like make your own games and play other people's games. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It's basically like a million different games in one. I really like it. It's, it's been it's always one of my favorite games ever right since I got it. It's a great game. Uh, there's an inside of the disc, and then the insert says Art and Music of Dreams right there. Uh, this next game is called Unbox Newbies Adventure. It's a pretty fun game. Um, I haven't played it in like a, a long time, though. I kind of forgot about it. 
But anyways, there's inside the disc there. Uh, the next though, this, this is a Plants for Zombies, you know, called Plants for Zombies Garden Warfare. I got it for 8 99 you can see my sticker there. I guess a lot of PS4 games are 8 99 because a lot of the games I've showed have been, have been 8 99 Anyway, um, but uh, I prefer the original Plants for Zombies game, but Garden Warfare is pretty fun as well. Uh, it's kind of like Plants for Zombies meets Call of Duty, I would say. kind of feels like that. Anyways, there's an inside the disc. Yeah, the original Plants vs. Zombies is a classic form. I actually played through the whole, like, original Plants vs. Zombies game back in the day with my brother in the Xbox 360. So yeah, I still have the Xbox 360, which is it's just not the same as that Xbox 360 consoles when I was younger. Anyway, this next up, this is another game I found at Best Buy, if I remember correctly. It's a Stranger Things game. Stranger Things video game. Stranger Things 3, the game, to be exact. It's like a video game version of Season 3 of Stranger Things, basically. There's that. There's inside the disc, and that actually comes with an art book, which is pretty cool. There's that. There's some pictures from the game and stuff, it's pretty cool. I forgot that was in here, actually. Anyway, that's that. I kind of messed up the uh, paper a bit. That's funny. <laughs> anyway. Next, so this one, this game was 999. You can see that sticker there. This is Invading Interactive TV Show. Yeah, it's a pretty fun game. I guess I don't really have much to say about this one. Um, anything inside the disc, and then into that to like you play, I guess. I'm not quite 100% sure what that means. Anyway. <laughs> and then I actually have another Just Dance game here. I think this is, think this is the last Just, Ga Just Dance game there for the PS4. I said I said Just Dance at first and said G. Anyway, this is Just Dance 2015. This, one's, this one was 95 the other one from that Player's Choice store. Um, yeah, that's that. Whoops, the disc fell out here. We have a flower disc here. Let's get that back in here. I guess the disc holder for this particular case isn't really too good. Um, okay, I guess I'll have to do for now. Anyway, so it's the inside of the disc, not like an instruction manual. Disc, this disc just fell out. There you go. Yeah, the disc won't go all the way in for some reason. The disc holder is, I guess, kind of kind of broken in this particular case, but anyways, that's fine. Um, next up I have Until Dawn Rush of Blood. Um, I have the original Until Dawn game as well. Um, somewhere in this stack here. <laughs> anyways, there's an attack for disc right there. Yeah, that's it. Next up, I have this Hasbro Family Fun Pack Porter Games. And one this one's on from GameStop. I didn't see it. This GameStop Premium sticker, 1899, right there. This has Scrabble, Trivial Pursuit Live, Monopoly Plus, and Risk. Pretty fun. So, yeah, I have a Family Fun for Classic Hasbro Games. I'm not going to read all the info about the games on the back here. I'm going to take a little too long. You can pause the video and read the back if you want to. <laughs> I had to take a big deep breath there for a second because I was talking a little too, for, for a little too long. Um, Anyways, it's inside of the disc. I messed up my words there for a second. I was like talking for a little too, too long. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Next, uh, this is another one from Best Buy, I think, actually. It's Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Pretty fun game. Um, the Super Monkey Ball game on the Nintendo DS, Super Monkey Ball Touch and Roll, is a really classic game for me. One of the most nostalgic DS games. So I found this newer PS4 Super Monkey Ball game and I decided to try it. It's pretty fun. Um, not as fun as the DS version of Super Monkey Ball, but yeah, that's that. There is the inside of the disc. That's that. There we go. I thought it didn't like close all the way, like it just felt a little loose. Anyway, the next one is on like a free you know, you can see why the sticker there. I thought to be like, as you can see by the sticker. Anyway, this is uh, a Kingdom Hearts game. Um, yeah, I found this game at the Power Game at local video game store, uh, once again, and I decided to try it out because I, I like Disney. I mean, like, these anime kind of games are really like my thing, like anime RPG games, but I thought maybe since, maybe since it's mixed with Disney, I might really like it because I really like Disney. Or I love Disney, in fact, I would say. Anyway, there's an inside of the disc, and then there's an advertisement for Kingdom Hearts 11.8 HD or 2. Point eight HD, I'm not quite sure. It says Final Chapter Prologue. Anyway, I guess this is a mix of a few of the Kingdom Hearts games because 
So the back here has Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts Retain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts 358 slash 2 Days, and Kingdom Hearts Recode is like six different Kingdom Hearts things. So it says six Blood of Journey through Master and High Definition. So yeah, that's that. Okay, so I want to make sure this this was good in there. Anyways, this will be a Minecraft PlayStation 4 edition. That's why I got for $16.99, as you can see right there. Uh, makes sense that this game was a little more than all the other games, because Minecraft is a bigger game than a lot of the other games. Anyways, so it's build Craft Explorer, of course. You know, I was younger, I didn't really like Minecraft too terribly much, although I used to have a demo of Minecraft on the Xbox 360. You know, it was younger, I used to play sometimes. I won't say quite a bit, but probably not quite a bit. But yeah, I used to play that demo on the F of Minecraft on the Xbox 360 sometimes. But anyways, he's inside of the disc. But um, after I uh, got the uh, Minecraft PlayStation 4 edition, I kind of uh, kind of became a little bit more of a fan of Minecraft. And I, well, I was... I like to I like the worlds that people make in Minecraft the most, like the custom maps and stuff like that. I don't really like building my own stuff, to be honest. But yeah, that's that. Next up, this is the Jackbox Party Pack, another game from GameStop. You can see on the premium GameStop sticker there. Anyway, I play this with my brother sometimes. Uh, my favorite game, and uh, and this is a Fibbage game. I think it's the most fun one. But anyways, it's an inside the disc, and it has like the controls on the back, the picture on the inside of the case there. I said the back at first, so it's not really the back. Anyway, that's it. And then so I managed to have another Jackbox Party Pack game, you know, it's fun for you, nine nine, so I have a sticker there. Jackbox Party Pack 7. So yeah, this one isn't as good as the original Jackbox Party Pack, but it's still pretty fun, I think, if I remember it correctly. And here's this inside the disc. And then here's Carnival Games, PS4 version of Carnival Games, another GameStop game for $17.99, as you can see there by, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that, uh, as you can see there by that, their sticker, I was going to say. Anyways, there's that. The older, like, Wii and DS versions of Carnival Games are better, but this is a pretty fun game as well. There's the inside of the disc and the little instruction manual you saw there. Anyways, uh, I've accidentally worked several times while I've made videos in the past. Anyways, here's a Resident Evil game, nice Resident Evil Revelations, this is another GameStop game for $19.99, as you can see, pre-owned, of course. So, yeah. Um, Resident Evil Revelations isn't my favorite Resident Evil game, but it's pretty cool. Anyways, here's inside the disc. Next up is one of my favorite games that I have with the PS4. This one, I got for, this one I got for $26.99, as you can see that sticker there, but this is Back to the Future of the Game. 30th anniversary edition. My name is on it there because the store I got it from from when I gave it, I had them hold it for me so they put a sticker on it with my name right there, Jacob White, as you can see. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. This one of my favorite PS4 games is pretty nostalgic for me. It's had that Swiss Suit Super when I was younger and I used to play all the time, so it's really really nostalgic game for me. Um, I actually played the Bad Future game before I watched the Bad Future movies. I didn't watch the Bad Future movies until I was like a little older after I played the Bad Future video game when I was younger. So you can just have to disc right there. Um, but yeah, I've decided to watch Back to the Future movies as I got a little older, since I loved the Back to the Future game so much, and, um, I really liked the Back to the, and it turns out I really liked the Back to the Future movies, actually, I'd say I adore them, if you will. Um, the f well, mainly just the first two, I think the third one is kind of meh, but the first two are, are amazing. I adore them, <laughs> as I said, but, um, I like the second one the most, but the first one's really good as well, and then, like I said, I don't really care too, too really much for the third one. The second one was my favorite one, uh, the Bad Future movies. Anyways, next up this Bendy and the Ink Machine. Um, this is a pretty popular horror game, I'm sure a lot of people know about this game. It's a Sphere of the Machine. Uh, this is the disc. And uh, here's Guitar Hero Live for the PS4. $30 in Sphere, $29.99. And it came with a guitar when I got it, a little sticker that says includes guitar. Um, I, think, I know a lot of people think of the, the newer Guitar Hero Live game isn't nearly as good as like the older Guitar Hero games, especially Legends of Rock. I know that's the most popular Guitar Hero game is Legends of Rock. But um, the, new, the Guitar Hero Live game is pretty nostalgic for me because, again, kind of like Back to the Future game. I used to have Guitar Hero Live in the Xbox 6 and I used to play quite a bit. And then I got this newer version for the PS4. I mean, not really new but it's like an alternate version, I guess, that doesn't have the exact same stuff on it, but, yeah. I wish the, like, TV mode on Guitar, on Guitar Hero Live was still a thing. I want to play those songs again. Um, yeah, there's that, uh, they didn't set the disc. Um, 
Let me hide that. Oh, well, here's a, we're down to like the, the last few games here I was had. Here's another one of my favorite PS4 games, it's Resident Evil Biohazard. Um, I haven't played any of the Resident Evil games before I tried out Biohazard, but um, I remember I, I found out about Resident Evil Biohazard through uh, someone's playthrough on YouTube. I watched someone's, uh, like a video of someone's playthrough of this game on YouTube. It was a guy named Bryce Games, Bryce McQuaid. Um, I don't know if any of you know who that is, but he's a pretty cool guy. Um, I don't really watch his videos too terribly much anymore. I mean, sometimes I go back and watch his older videos, but his newer videos aren't really as good. But anyways, but yeah, I found out about this game through him, and yeah, and I was like, that looks like a pretty cool game, so I got it, and I played it, and I fell in love with it. It's like one of my favorite games now. So yeah, it says Fear Comes Home. Um, I don't really care about the older Resident Evil games that much. I mean, I don't really, I would say I don't really need to have played, like, the older Resident Evil games. Um, to play Resident Evil Biohazard because this is like a standalone thing. It's like a separate story from the older Resident Evil games. But yeah, anyways, it ends out with the disc. And yeah, that's it. Um, and I also have Resident Evil 8 Village. It's the game that came after Resident Evil Biohazard. Resident Evil Biohazard was the seventh Resident Evil game, and Resident Evil Village is the eighth Resident Evil game. I haven't played through all of uh, Resident Evil Village yet. But so far it's a pretty cool game, but I definitely don't like it nearly as much as uh, Biohazard. But yeah, anyways, that's that. Um, yeah, so that's from Game Talks, and you see that sticker there, it doesn't, doesn't say how much it was. I don't remember how much it was, probably, probably like $15, $20, if I remember correctly. And I don't remember where I got uh, Biohazard from, by the way, or it's no Biohazard. Anyways, it's inside of the disc, right there. Um, but yeah, Resident Evil Village is still a really good game, I just... I just, I cannot beat Biohazard. Biohazard is an amazing game. Anyway, that's that. Just a few more games here. Next up we have Lego The Incredibles. This is a generic pre-owned GameStop case, so you can obviously tell us from GameStop. Uh, anyways, there's an inside of the disc, right there. Uh, I don't remember how much this was. It doesn't say the price on it or anything. Anyway, that's that. Lego the, Lego the Incredibles is a pretty fun game. That's my word there. For a second, I was like, Lego the Incredibles. <laughs> anyway. Uh, next up is Disney Classic Games Live Online. King got it for $16.99. You can see that sticker there. Uh, it's $16.99. I think I might have accidentally said $16.99, but definitely wasn't that much. It's $16.99. It says $16. The Classics Returns, like the remastered versions, I guess, of the classic Live Online King games from like the older consoles. Um, I don't remember specifically which consoles they're from, it doesn't say on the back or anything. But yeah, it's probably like NES, SNES, Game Boy, stuff like that. But yeah, I don't really remember correctly. Maybe like the original PlayStation, or X, original Xbox, stuff like that. Maybe not the original Xbox, because Xbox is a little newer than PlayStation. But I don't know. Anyways, there's inside with the disc. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> then we have the Scribblenauts Mega Tag, this is another one from GameStop pre owned for $9.99, you can see there. By the sticker. This one has Scribblenauts Unmasked and Scribblenauts Unlimited, two Scribblenauts games in one. I like Scribblenauts Unlimited a lot more than Scribblenauts Unmasked, but Scribblenauts Unmasked is a pretty fun game as well, but Scribblenauts Unlimited is, is, is an amazing game. So, yeah, it's like the classic Scribblenauts game. Anyway, I just inside the disc. And then I have Pac-Man Championship Edition. This one is another one from Best Buy for America correctly. Or Pac-Man Championship Edition 2. To be more specific, and it has three classic arcade games, arcade games as, as well Galaga, the original Pac Man, and then, and then Dig Dug as well. Um, I actually remember me and my brother were at Best Buy one time when we found this game, and then when we saw it, when we saw that it said Dig Dug on the case, Tyler was like, Oh, D J Stranger Things, Dig Dug, because obviously in Dig Dug was in season two of Stranger Things, one doesn't found that someone else got the high score, or got, or got like a high score with him on Dig Dug at the arcade, uh, which turned out to be Mac. Uh, anyway. There's the inside of the disc. And then I have Resident Evil 2. That's not $24.99. You can see by the sticker in there. $25, $24.99, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, it's one of the older Resident Evil games. Obviously, a, like a remastered version. So it's completely reimagined. The Warpman Core Classic on the back, actually. Yeah, definitely don't like this as much as Biohazard Village, but it's a pretty cool game, pretty fun game. I mean, I know obviously the old Resident Evil games are classics to a lot of people. But anyways, there's that. And there's things that was the disc I meant to say when I showed that. Anyway. 
I heard that um, the like fifth and sixth Resident Evil games were more like action oriented, if you will. And so a lot of people weren't really, like, weren't really like big fans of the fifth and sixth Resident Evil games because they were more action oriented. They weren't like as much horror. And so a lot of people were like really excited for Resident Evil Seven because kind of going back to like the horror roots of Resident Evil. But yeah, that's it. And I have Minecraft Story Mode: The Complete Adventure. I love Minecraft Story Mode. It's a great game. Great companion to the original Minecraft game, of course. Um, yeah, there's the disc. So it's just season one of Minecraft Story Mode. I don't really care about season two of Minecraft Story Mode as much. But yeah, episode six is my favorite because it has like YouTubers in it, like Danny TDM, uh, Snoopy Cat, um, Captain Sparkle, stuff like that. But yeah, anyways, that's sad. Uh, oh yeah, on the back here it says, right here it says features fan favorites Snoopy Cat, Danny TDM, Captain Sparkle, Stacey Plays, and LD Shadow Lady. So yeah. Anyway, that's that. Just like four more games here. Um, so here's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Um, this one's from Kanto as well. It's the same with me on the sticker. It doesn't say the price, so I don't remember how much it was. But yeah, this is a pretty fun game. Um, so yeah. There's the inside of the disc. Most of these don't have like instruction manuals or like inserts or anything like that. So yeah, anyways. Next up, we have Until Dawn. This one's called Nine Nights. You can see by the sticker there. When I showed him told on much of what I said, I had uh, the original until on somewhere here, right? I don't remember where it was. Yeah, anyways, here's this. Only choice is Terminator Survives. Um, the original until on is obviously better than until on Marsha Blood, but until on Marsha Blood is a pretty fun game as well. Anyways, here's inside the disc. So yeah, there's that. Um, I know uh, a game came out like recently, I think like at some point last year in 2023. That's crazy that 2023 is last year now. But anyways, I was going to say, I think a game came out, like, I think, like, at some point last year in 2023, maybe it's 2022, I don't remember exactly, but it was a game that was kind of like a spiritual standalone sequel to Until Dawn. It's called, like, The Quarry, I want to say, something like that. I might be wrong. But anyways, next up, I have another Scribblenauts game here, Scribblenauts Showdown. It's another game to stop find, if you will. As you can see here by the premium stickers at $17.99. It's kind of like Mario Party, but, like, Scribblenauts instead of Mario, obviously. It's like that kind of game. It's pretty fun. On the top it says it's going as party style. <laughs> Anyways, that's that. There's an inside the disc. And yeah, that's that. Um, so yeah. Oh, I kind of stall over there. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, now I have one last game to show, which is another VR game, PlayStation VR World. This is another GameStop game. You can see that sticker there with the, like, Power GameStop logo right there. The sticker is ripped, so I don't remember like how much it was or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's it. This is Step in the Five Unique Worlds. It's five different games. One in Heist of Gritty Robbery, Scavengers Odyssey, Explore Tre Treacherous Nebula, Ocean Descent Down to the Deep, VR Luge, Race Engines from the Asphalt, and Danger Ball When to Stay Alive. So yeah, some pretty fun and cool little games on here. Anyways, there's the side with the disc. And yeah, that was. The last game. Um, yeah. Uh, I was just putting the last game over there. But anyways, um, so yeah, that was the last game. That was my whole PS4 video game collection. I tried to go pretty fast because I didn't want this video to get too long. It's not too long. It's 28 minutes. Uh, I mean, I might get up to 29 minutes before I'm done filming this video. Maybe not. I'm not sure. But anyways, I just cracked my fingers a little bit. You know, I'm sure that so I, don't, that, I almost said noise and then I changed the sound. So I sound kind of weird. I was like, the sound. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's basically over this video is gonna get up to 29 minutes, it looks like. But, anyways, uh, it's basically over this video. Of course, please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, ring the bell so you don't know when I post any new videos. Yes, I kind of forgot my option for, for a second. I was like, oh, uh. anyway, um, yeah, I don't want anything else to say, so um, uh, of course, I enjoy this video, and I'll, of course, see you next time. Peace.